if they asked us, would we rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or a woman? I'd probably be stuck in the woods with a bear. Because I never seen a mama bear pick her kids up on Friday and drop them off at her grandma house and don't pick them up until Sunday night. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omomi A.K. Petit Diva and this video is inspired by a particular question that an interviewer asked some women and the answers that the women gave that triggered some men. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? bear. With a bear. A bear. <laughs> bear. Now the interviewer asked women if they would prefer to be stuck alone with a bear in the forest or with a man and so many women chose to be stuck with a beer instead of a man and this angered some men now some men made videos several videos which you watch later but this particular person this particular man made a video that annoyed me honestly fellas i see why the women are picking the bear and if we being honest if they asked us would we rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or a woman? I'd probably be stuck in the woods with a bear. Because i never seen a mama bear pick her kids up on Friday and drop them off at her grandma house and don't pick them up until Sunday night. I ain't never seen a mama bear wake up one day and just decide that she's unhappy. So the whole house has to be unhappy and she leaves her marriage and her kids. i never seen a mama bear put her babies in a microwave and turn it on for an excessive amount of time to ultimately kill her child because of postpartum. I never heard a mama bear saying that her youngest kid was getting bullied by her two older kids. So she killed her two older kids and kept them in the freezer for years while people were searching for her kids. I never once like had these type of things come from a mama bear. So I'm pretty much skeptical of dealing with a woman in the woods. I'm sorry. I'm just putting it out there. Now, this man is an ass, in my own opinion. A very useless entity, in my own opinion. This is my own opinion. He was saying he would choose to be with a bear if he was asked to choose between a bear and a woman. And he was not giving reasons why he would choose to be with the bear now in his video he was coming across as insensitive and very idiotic because he made mention of the fact that women experience postpartum depression and that irritated me because he feels like i think he feels like women choose whether to have postpartum depression or not now pregnancy affects women in different ways psychologically physically like there are so many things that happen to women when they are pregnant you could get preeclampsia enclampsia you could get gestational diabetes after giving birth you could get postpartum depression while giving birth a lot of things could go wrong and now for this guy to just make it seem like women choose to have postpartum depression and they can choose not to have but they just decided to have postpartum depression was just annoying to me and i and i'm so sorry for his if he has a partner right now or his future partner because definitely that kind of human being when she's pregnant and she's having some emotions that are almost are up and down when she's feeling a particular way you probably will not be that sympathetic to her condition you'll be even telling her your mates are doing this um a beer will not do this and all the sort of nonsense that i was talking anyway to the video he deleted it but i still looked for it because i saw people reacting to it and i went to look for it and i saw it and i'm putting it because some men actually think like that and i think they need to they need to be called out because you you as a guy will never understand what goes on with women when they get pregnant you are supposed to be understanding as a partner you're supposed to be understanding as a male because at the end of the day you are bettered by a woman a woman had to go through all these things for you to be existing and for you to be talking in a particular way is just irritating in my own opinion i'm really angered by that guy anyway to people have things to say about the whole beer versus man um question some men like i said were triggered by the fact that women were choosing the beer instead of a man um some women tried to explain why they are choosing bears instead of men and some men even tried to explain 
why women were choosing the beer instead of men. Anyway, check out what people had to say and then I'll come back to share more of my thoughts. And she was eaten alive by the bear. The man that she was with. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The who? Who was she with? What? Who? What? Who? A man? See, if you know about the Timothy Treadwell story, you know that this attack was absolutely his fault. He put he and Amy in that dangerous situation knowing that there was an aggressive, underweight, ostracized bear that was already exhibiting interest in attacking them. As a grizzly expert, he threw a fit in the airport over some, I don't know, non-consequential reason and then insisted that he go back into the woods with Amy and that they stay there. And she trusted him. She trusted his expertise and uh, it ended up leading to her death, which is tragic, especially for her. I don't think you want to talk numbers to make your argument because you are astronomically more likely to be killed by a man than you are to be killed by a bear. Likewise, you're more likely to be tortured by a man. So, sucks. Would we rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or a woman? I'd probably be stuck in the woods with a bear. You know, that video got me a little emotional. Because besides that brother saying that he would choose the bear over a black woman, he goes on further in that video to talk about postpartum depression which is how I lost my wife and how I became a single father of two little girls. So it hits home to see a brother just so disparagingly talk about an issue he knows nothing about. But brother, I can promise you one thing above all is that black women are grateful you chose the bear. Black women are eternally grateful you chose to leave them alone. I beg of you only one thing, keep your promise and leave black women alone. Wake up one day and just decide that she's unhappy. So the whole house has to be unhappy. I'll give you points. Some people were not made to be parents. Some mothers were not made to be mothers. That's, that's a fact. But um, I also want to remind you that bears eat their cubs. So there's that. Y'all doing too much. This hypothetical question about this bear versus man in the forest is about to get a lot of y'all feelings hurt. Some of y'all women, you're doing too much. You are the bear in the forest. You need to be scared of yourself. At the end of the day, a lot of y'all are running around acting like you so scared of men, acting as if you fear for your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Girl, men don't even pay you no mind on a day-to-day -day basis. You go to the mall, they ignore you. You go to the store, they ignore you. You go to the club and the lounges with your homegirls and they talk to everybody but you. Men ain't worried about you. You could be in the forest with a bear and a man and you got a better chance of the bear wanting to smash. It's almost comical listening to a group of women who invite strangers from date naps to their house to smash on the first day are scared of men. I can't tell. I can't tell the way y'all be getting pregnant by strangers. Men who last names you don't even know. Men who mama you don't meet until the baby shower. I can't tell you scared of these men. Not the way you be out here giving out your address so freely and letting them come over there and Netflix and chill. The way you be going over their house when you don't even know them. Jeffrey Dahmer would have a field day with this generation and somehow y'all scared of men. You scared to be in a forest with a man. Be for real. Y'all are, y'all are comical. Nobody even takes you serious at this point because you're a joke. Every time you get on this internet and open up your mouth, it's a contradiction and you're a joke. So I know we've all seen the video. There's a guy walking around asking women, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a man or a bear? Most of the women said a bear. I just want y'all, I just want y'all, just hear me out. I just want y'all to slow it down and realize that social media isn't real life. You pull up all these fucking stats. One in six women will be attacked by a man in her lifetime. Only one in one million people have a chance to be attacked by a bear. Let's, let's think about this. You live with and walk past in your life probably hundreds of thousands of men you will probably never fucking just walk past a bear all right so no shit okay i'm in jacksonville florida the chance that i'm gonna walk up on a kodiak bear slim to none ever in life never i don't even go to the zoo what the fuck is you talking about that's one that's proximity the the way y'all be bringing this shit up is ridiculous the way that that should have been the way that question should have been asked, would you rather be in the lost in the woods with a bear that wants to kill you or a man that wants to kill you? With a bear that wants to harm you or a man that wants to harm you? But you could get the real fucking answers. 
I ain't never hit a woman violently. I ain't never put a violent hand on a woman. I ain't never assaulted a woman. No, none of that. Ever. Now, I ain't never even called a woman out of her fucking name. Not to her face. <laughs> I think all that is terrible and wrong. But y'all acting like men are scarier than bears? You ain't watched enough nature documentaries, baby. Go watch the one where they trying to get the pictures of that big ass bear and, he, and, the, and the light from the, the flash scares him. And, he, <laughs> and, and a startled bear. I swear to God, the earth moved when he got startled. Just go, just go watch a few videos. The way y'all be, the way y'all, boy, you dumb as hell. And bothering me about this whole thing is why haven't I seen any men ask the question, would you rather be in the woods with a bear or a woman? If you was to ask a man if he would rather be in the woods with the woman or with the bear, he going to say a woman every single time. And do you know why a man is going to say a woman every single time? He got free range to suck her and do whatever he want. Now, y'all might be thinking, oh, that's not every man. That's not every man. In this video of this creator, she's stitching another guy. And this guy has videos of like Keith Lee, LeBron James, and a bunch of other dudes. I don't put nothing past no man. Y'all are, are tripping. I don't put nothing past no man. Then he had Chris Brown there. I don't know why. Chris Brown is one of the most horrible examples you could even try to give. But let's say you put Chris Brown or Keith Lee or LeBron James, whoever. They're still a man, right? If you put any of these men in the woods with a woman and say, okay, y'all got free range. You think these men is going to... Oh, are you okay? Do you need some food? I'm going to help you to safety. <laughs> I don't put nothing past no man, especially a man in survival mode. A man in survival mode, I will never put nothing past him. I'm a man myself, and I'm going to tell you right now, I would never ever be in a position where I'm in the woods or near the woods. So, like, I'm black. That's, that's not even going to happen. Hypothet hypothetically, though, I would I would rather not be in the woods with a man. I would rather be in the woods with a bear. Even even I know this, but see, my 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 thought process is, if I happen to hypothetically be in the woods with another man, I will hunt him down. I don't care if I got free range to take a life, and it's a guy. Oh yeah, I'm hunting him down. But. If I had the option, I'm going to just say I'd rather be in the woods with a bear. <laughs> I'm a man and I want to be with you with another man. doesn't make any sense. I just feel like <laughs> if X question, you know, two men, would you rather be in the woods with a bear or a woman? Men are going to say a woman and y'all ladies know why they're going to say a woman. Anybody who is upset or feels some kind of way that women are saying that they would rather be in the woods with a bear than a man is crazy. I'm a man myself, and I know how dangerous men are. If I walk into a men's restroom and there's another man in the men's restroom, if I see anybody else in that man's restroom, I don't go to the bathroom. I walk in, I see somebody, I wash my hands and walk out. I don't even use the bathroom. That's how bad I don't trust men. And I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. If I walk into the men's restroom and I see another man in there, I will wash my hands, not use the bathroom, and just walk out. I will just hold it. I don't trust men. That's how much I don't trust men. The restroom have to be empty when I walk into that men's restroom or I'm just not going to the bathroom. I don't trust no man, no man, no man alive. I will trust. Y'all want to know how, how, how <laughs> y'all want to know how bad I don't trust men. Hence this bear versus man situation, right? Y'all are making it seem like women are crazy for saying that they would rather be in the woods with a bear than a man because of how dangerous men are. If I had to get surgery done, I would rather choose a woman, a woman that been licensed for a year that only did seven surgeries over a man that been licensed for 15 that then did 200, 300. A woman on this app said, the bear lives in the woods. A man followed you there. And that's why she would pick the bear. And that's where you guys aren't understanding. The worst thing a bear can do to a woman
kill them. And the only reason why they're unaliving them is because the bear sees the woman as a threat. The bear isn't trying to hurt the woman because the bear wants their woman, the woman's body, wants the woman's labor, wants the woman to perform some type of service for the bear. The bear is trying to stay alive. The bear is doing things out of survival. The man, on the other hand, thinks he is entitled to that woman. He is going out of his way to make sure that woman is uncomfortable because that woman did not give him something he feels like he is entitled to. It's not out of survival. It's not out of desperation to stay alive. It's so that he can get what he wants from that woman that he feels that he's not getting. That's why it's always going to be the bear. Because the bear ain't out to get me. The bear is out to protect itself. The man is out to get me. We'd rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or a woman. I'd probably be stuck in the woods with a bear. I'd pick that choice for you too. I'd pick that choice for you and all of the men like you, because honestly, I think how making that choice would turn out for you and all of the men like you would not only be best for you, it would be best for women, all women. But y'all acting like men are scarier than bears. You ain't watch enough nature, doctor. I want to add to this conversation in a way that I'm sure other women have already added. Um, but first things first, the intention, the the intention, the, the reason and the intention for a bear, you know, unaliving me would be completely different from why a man would do it. If I got attacked by a bear, people would less likely say that I deserved it. People would not ask me what I was wearing. Um, people would not question or doubt it. They would believe it and they wouldn't be as cruel to me, right? But if I got attacked by a man, people would have all these questions. There would be all of these doubts because what did I do to provoke that man to attack me? I have seen other men and boys celebrate the grape or the unaliving of a girl or a woman done by a man, like in saying that she deserved that. Ha ha ha, so funny. I've seen that, we have all seen that. And at least if a bear were to unalive me, the bear would not assault me after. The bear would not essay me. I would not get great by the bear. I wouldn't. And, and I feel like that's a plus. A bear doesn't think less of me because I'm a woman. And at this point, I'm shifting away from this idea that we're in a forest with a bear or a man. Bears have not gone on podcasts minimizing women's value, making women feel like all we are are dishwashers and sandwich makers and baby makers. Bears are not having conversations about how to manipulate women. Bears don't even know what misogyny is. Do y'all see that it's not just about a bear being big and scary. It's about the fact that a bear is going to be a bear. It doesn't matter if it's a child. It doesn't matter if it's a man, if it's a woman, if it's a cat, if it's a dog, that doesn't matter. Men have gone out of their ways to harm women simply because we are women. Do we not see how women get unalive for saying no? Do we not see how men will go on dates with women and then take them somewhere and unalive them? Have we not seen that husbands will literally unalive their wife and their kids? There are men that have unalived their wives for not making dinner on time. And even outside of violence. I know that there's women doing this too, but there are a lot of men trying to make rules and regulations about what we can do with our bodies. For so long, we have been second class citizens to men. None of us are saying that we would enjoy having an encounter with a bear. We would just rather have an encounter with a bear. And if you think that that sounds crazy, you have not been listening to the conversations we've been having. You have not been looking at what's been going on in the world. And maybe you should. A bear. You'd really rather be out in the forest with a bear. Like, these girls are losing their minds. You know what that is? That is a classic cultural gaslighting tactic. I saw someone sharing a story about somebody uh, getting eaten by a bear and how it took six minutes. I would take those six minutes over the 18 hours that I spent trapped with a man. I would take those six minutes. Like, best case scenario, you come across a bear in the woods, it goes past you. Best case scenario, you come across a man in the woods, it goes past you. Worst case scenario, the bear eats you. It takes six minutes ouch that sucks worst case scenario with a man <laughs> i can't even say it on here like worst case scenario with a man is, is, is things like 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 what bundy would do like worst case scenario with a man i end up on a true crime podcast y'all heard those details have y'all heard how long like six minutes if you're lucky <laughs> i would take the bear
I would take the bear any damn day of the week. And I love, I love the way that our culture continually just tries to make women just seem like they're crazy. Like, it's just like, oh, no, you wouldn't. Yes, baby, I would. I would. And I really, really hope that you never go through half of the things that I've been through. Believe women. Bottom line, believe women. And stop trying to tell people how they feel about things. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Question is, would you rather be stuck in the forest with a man or a bear? But the question that women are answering is, would you rather be stuck with the possibility of assault and or death or just death? And that is not an unfair way to interpret the question. Now, does it go without saying that if women interacted with bears at the same rate that they interacted with men, there would be more bear attacks than man attacks? Sure. But we're talking about the preferences between possibilities, and it's not unfair for women to want to completely eliminate the possibility of the thing that only a human would do. Now, the only thing that gives me pause is when I've heard ladies change the question to, would you rather be stuck in the force with a bear or with a man that you don't know? Because to me, adding the condition of unfamiliarity with the man completely changes the question. And I want to tread carefully here, but is it fair to assume that women would feel safer around a man that they don't know than a man that they do know? Because if the fear is sexual assault, and if this article is accurate stating that roughly 20% of assaults are committed by a stranger versus the combined 72% from someone familiar or past partners, it almost makes me want to ask the question, would you rather be stuck in the forest with a man that you know or a man that you don't know? But at the end of the day, I think that the people who are outraged with the responses are looking at it strictly from a statistical analysis and disregarding the human element of the question. Because considering the number of women who have stories of what could arguably be considered worse than death happening to them, it isn't unfair for them to want to completely eliminate that aspect from the realm of possibility. A male hiker, I didn't realize that um, we had such a poor reputation when it comes to women. Um, I, I really don't think it's deserved. I mean, is there... Are women getting mauled by a bunch of male hikers somewhere? I, um, I mean, is there an epidemic of women being a attacked in the woods? Because uh, it's like, I mean, like I have a, a, a GPS, I could help you, you know, uh, if you're lost. If, if you need, you know, sun protection, I, I got you. Uh, if you're hungry, I got almonds, you know. If you got blisters or injured, I got moleskin to help you out. If you're cold, I got I got some you know hand warmers and stuff like that, you know. But you guys would rather run into a bear than me, uh, uh, you know. Um, I mean, all right, I, that's fine, I, I guess. Okay, this whole bear versus man debate, I would obviously choose the bear and I'm gonna explain why in two reasons. Number one, the question was, would you rather be alone in the woods with a bear or a man? They never specified that I would be outside. They just said, would I rather be alone in the woods with a bear or a man? Alone could mean that I'm alone in a cabin. And if I'm in a cabin, I'm a million percent picking the bear. Because if I'm in a cabin by myself, nobody else with me, and I look outside my window and there's a bear, it's fine. It's just a bear. He's supposed to be here. This is his hood, okay? He probably just wants to use my hot tub, okay? It's just a bear. But if I look outside my window while I'm alone in a cabin in the woods and I see a man, I am going to piss my pants, okay? And then I'm going to literally spontaneously combust because there's no way in hell. Okay, reason number two. Now, let's just say I do happen to be outside alone in the woods with the bear or a man. I would still pick the bear. And here's why. If I'm going to be in the woods, I would come prepared. OK, because a girl like me, I don't go to the woods. I go to the mall. OK, I don't go to the woods. So if I was in the woods, I would come prepared. I would have bear spray bear mace, whatever it is I needed to defend myself for a bear, I would be prepared to encounter a bear. You can never be prepared to encounter a man. Plus, I'm sorry, but my vibe is literally just different. Like if I encountered a bear, he would leave me alone because he would be like, she has good vibes. Like her aura is mad different. Why would I mess with her? I can't say the same for a man. Oh, would you rather choose a bear or a man? <laughs> it don't sound like that lady wanted to choose the bear. It sounded like she wanted to choose the man instead. <laughs> if you were stuck in the woods, 
You know what? Let's flip the script. Fellas, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a woman or a bear? Let me know, because I, I think, you know what? I think I would rather choose the bear, because at least with the bear, the bear's not going to just date me for my money and in the divorce, take half my stuff or more. Like at first, it was questionable. I'm like, dang, what's, what's more scarier, a woman or a bear? Because a woman lies. A woman will lie on you. You know how many football players I've seen get light on and lose their whole NFL chance and career behind a woman lying, saying they did something they didn't do? Yeah, I think a bear. I'm going bear, bro. I'm going bear. I don't care. I'm going bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going bear because at least a bear is going to get it over with. A woman is going to rip me of my dignity and my freedom at the same time and my finances. So, yeah, I'm going, I'm going bear. <laughs> By now, you've probably seen and heard a lot of this discourse about the bear situation. If a woman is in the woods, would she much rather come across a bear or a man? And most women choose a bear. The idea that there are so many men who are angered by the fact that women would choose a bear, to me, proves the point. How quickly they invalidate a woman's experience. These men and some misguided women are out here saying, oh, so you really in fear of men all the time? Yes. You don't know that? You don't know that that's why we decide to jog during the day and not at night? That's why we have the pepper spray on our keychain. That's why we go places in groups. That's why we don't like talking to random men at night in parking lots. That's why we don't like to give men our phone numbers. That's why we check under the beds when we get into hotel rooms and we check the shower. Where have you been? Where have you been? Have you no sisters, no daughters, no mothers, no female friends? Where have you been? I saw somebody say, oh, so if a bear is attacking you, I'm just going to stand by and watch. You usually do. You act like men always step in. Men usually say stuff like, I don't know what they got going on. I don't know what she said to him. You're usually scared of other men. I'd rather take my chances with a bunch of women being around because they're more likely to step in. Y'all acting as if y'all always protect women. Y'all are quick to say who you wouldn't protect and why. Okay, so I need the men to understand something here. I need you to stop internalizing and think about how troubling it is that so many women are choosing the bear. That's all you need to know, right? To even question it, why is you're, you're missing the point? It's troubling in itself that so many women are choosing the bear. There's a reason for it. So any man who questions that, like you're, you're, you're thinking about it from your own perspective, right? Like you may not be a man who is trying to harm women or, or hurt women in any way. So you're like, you'd rather be in the, in the woods with a bear and instead of me, no stupid. Just like you're thinking about it from your perspective of a man that may not have any interest in harming a woman, they're thinking about it from their perspective. When you when they hear the question, would you rather? They're thinking about the men that have harmed them. They're thinking about their experience. So many women have been at minimum harassed extensively and victimized by men. Right? some on more than one occasion so when they hear the question a bear or a man they're like men have done me harm All right so i'm gonna i'm gonna take my chances with this bear that's what you need to understand and i don't think as, as long i know this conversation is going on for a while but it doesn't matter how long it's been going on there's never going to be enough men to speak on this because Men are the primary perpetrators, so it has to be men speaking out and giving it from a male perspective because it's just like SA, right? Men are the primary perpetrators, so men have to stand up and say something because women have been saying it for years and it's like falling on deaf ears and they just become, they start, they're preaching to the choir at this point. So... Stop comparing yourself to the bear and think about why so many women are choosing the bear, right? It's, it, it baffled me just for a moment. It's troubling and there's a reason why. And the fact that you're arguing it 
is it it actually is proving their point. Like you're not listening. I'm trying to tell you that you are a danger, that I've experienced danger at your hands or the hands of people like you. But you're like, I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't hurt you. Like what? Shut up. It's out of control. Just listen for a little bit. If I have to pick between being alone in the woods with a man or with a bear, I'm picking the bear every time. I don't care if it's a polar bear and I stand no chance of winning. That polar bear is either going to leave my corpse or eat it and move on. It's not going to essay it. And at the end of the day, the woods is the bear's home. The bear's supposed to be there. The bear's got business. A random man, I don't know what his business is. He could have just buried a body and I might be number two. The behavior of a random bear, predictable. The behavior of a random man, unpredictable. Most bears that you run into in the woods are going to be more afraid of you than you are of them. A man is not going to be scared of you. There was this wife that asked her husband, would you rather have your daughter be stuck and alone in the woods with a bear or a random man? And the first thing the husband did was ask a clarifying question about the bear. Well, what kind of bear is it? What is the bear doing? Is the bear hungry? He didn't bother asking a single clarifying question about the man because we don't really know why the man's there. We can kind of guess why the bear is there. And then the wife went a step further and said, now what about our daughter being alone? in the woods with a bear or a woman and the husband said woman without hesitation he never once considered the man he didn't even say do we know this man because at the end of the day that doesn't matter does it no way y'all would rather be trapped in the woods with a bear over a man i have been seeing a lot of this on my timeline so before i say anything comment if you'd rather be with the man or the bear in the forest now i feel like a lot of the guys that are responding to this are not considering that a lot of people lack home training when i was growing up my dad told me that if somebody tells you no you leave it alone in the sense that I'm not gonna keep pursuing somebody just because I want to be in their circle. I focus on the people that want to be around me. A lot of people do not understand this concept or the concept of, you know, rejection is God's protection. A lot of women have been through it where they've specifically told a guy, hey, I do not want to be around you. They even lie and say they're pregnant. They have a girlfriend, they have a boyfriend, they have a husband and are still shot at and killed. We do not expect perfect behavior from a bear. We know a bear is a wild animal. In fact, there's an American folktale about how to basically survive a bear, but there isn't really a particular set of instructions for how to survive a creepy person. I'm not saying that in real life I would want to be with a bear, though. Do you know what girls are taught? No, of course you don't. Girls are taught that if a man tries to abduct them by pushing them into a van or something like that, that they should fight with everything they have and that it's better to die on the street than get in that van for whatever happens next. You know what else the girls are taught? That they should use their nails and their teeth so that afterwards there's DNA evidence. Afterwards, there's an assumption that this is going to happen at some point in a woman's life and that they need to know this information. You see, for men, the question of, is there anything worse than death? That's debatable. But it's not debatable for women. You ask any woman that question and they're going to say, yep, there are things worse than death. Now, this mindset that you have that so readily ignores the viewpoints of literally half of the people in the world, you can easily fix that through practicing empathy. So use your brain, use the brain that God or the universe or Cthulhu or whoever gave you and tap into your imagination. Use your imagination to put yourself in someone else's shoes for a little while and feel what they feel and then you'll start to understand. But y'all acting like men are scarier than bears? You ain't watch enough nature documentary. So I'm an ecology major and I know way too much about bears, like way more than the average person. Um, and I would still choose the fucking bear. So in the US, there are only about six fatal bear attacks per year. Um, and there are millions of people who spend time in the woods, who go hiking and all that. So it's not like nobody is like anywhere near bears ever. And when those attacks do happen, it's usually when someone provokes a bear, um, not when they're just existing in their habitat. For the most part, you will be completely fine if you leave them alone and mind your business. But the same cannot be said about men. Also, let's say I did choose the bear and the bear killed me. You know what? I would be okay with that. I would give him a little hug as I went out. It would be the perfect way to die. Now, watching some people's um, response to the whole um, topic, I, I was particularly touched by the guy who 
lost his wife to postpartum depression and is now a single father of two girls he if you watch the video closely he was almost tearing up when he was replying that idiot that made that video trying to demean women that have postpartum depression it was such a touching video to watch i was just like i almost teared up and it also brings to, to light the fact that when women have postpartum depression it's not only them that are affected the whole family is affected because the person cannot be the best mother or wife that she is supposed to be and most time it takes a lot to get out of that situation and for somebody to make it seem like people women choose to have the postpartum depression is just annoying now to the men that don't understand why women are choosing a beer instead of a man in that scenario they are just being they are just trying to be idiotic in my own opinion or just trying to be ignorant because definitely they are not stupid they are seeing a lot of things that are happening and they cannot say that they don't acknowledge that their counterpart can do some of the things that women are afraid that might occur if you're with a man alone in the forest now with the bear people have said it you already know that he is the bear's attack is not going to be gender specific if you're a child if you're an adult if you're a man if you're a woman if you're a boy if you're a girl it's the same thing it's the same reaction that the bear is going to have to everybody it's not going to choose oh let me do this to this person oh this is a man let me not touch him oh this is a boy let me not touch him oh this is a girl let me touch her this is a woman let me touch her which is why people are saying they rather take the bear but for them to say they are not understanding and trying to manipulate and gaslight women is is it's terrible honestly i don't blame the women that were choosing the beer because um there was a story i read on twitter about um a girl who was stranded at the train station the person that was supposed to help her out and was not picking up or something and then she met a guy they're both um nigerians they were in the uk so she just the lady just arrived in the uk and the guy was in nigeria and so he, he was like okay come to my house at least for the night since it was cold and everything and then tomorrow you can continue your journey you can look for the person that you're supposed to be with and everything and she said she was really happy that at least she has met a fellow countryman and that he was being nice because when you're moving to a new country it can be very overwhelming and seeing somebody from your home country being nice and everything can make everything feel a little bit better so she thought innocently he was being nice oliver had to wake up in the night and he was trying to do some certain things and saying oh it's cold she should do something and she's like excuse you so now he expected something in return because he was housing her in the night that's the same scenario that a lot of people are saying might happen if they if they are with a man alone in the forest he might say oh i'm protecting you so you should give me something in return and if that doesn't happen he can do a lot of things we've heard things where people are getting unalived because they refuse to give somebody number very very silly things so you cannot blame the women that are choosing a beer now if this question was asked maybe 40 years ago or 30 years ago i don't know it, the the answer might be varied and some people might choose the man instead of the beer but nowadays things are just Hey, why everywhere is just funny honestly things are just being funny i don't even know nobody trusts anybody anymore again so i don't blame people for choosing the beer instead of the man now some of the men that understood why women were saying they are going to choose the beer and made a response and made a video trying to educate other men now i checked the comment section of those videos and there were some guys that were just irritated one other guy said oh um more men are being raped than women so why is this a question this this another person called one of the creator a pick me meal that she stopped being a pick me meal 
and that women are not going to pick him and everything. I was like, hi, shh. this is what we are talking about. They are trying to explain to you why women don't feel safe with some men. And instead of even understanding what is going on, you are attacking the man that's trying to explain. Any which way, um, like I said, I don't blame some women for choosing a beer instead of a man because things are happening. So I don't know what you guys think about this whole topic. What would you choose if you are a woman? Would you choose to be alone with a beer in the forest or a man in the forest? Now, personally, if it's someone that I don't know, that is not a family member, even family members, some family members are crazy. But if it's someone that I don't know, yeah, apart from a family member, because you can't even trust your friends that are males, because I don't know, it's it's just weird. Everything is just, everywhere is just weird. Before you could trust people, now you cannot trust people. Even family members, some of them are just crazy. Honestly, some of them are crazy because we've heard so many crazy things. Now, nah, now nah, even with that, I think I will choose the beer, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> this is just being me. Because everywhere is just, like I said, everywhere is funny. I don't know how to say it, but everywhere is just that. So many atrocities are happening that you are just, it gives you reason every day not to trust people. Before, if you meet someone, you just, you can let go of some of your issues. You can, you can let down your guard sometimes. But now, every time you are watching, Person say A, you are checking if the person is actually saying A or not saying B because it's just people are just doing and undoing lately. So I don't know. I probably would choose a beer too. Anyway, I would love to hear your own thoughts. I would love to hear your own answer. Um, so please leave your thoughts, leave your answer in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed that you like videos such as this, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime I upload videos. Now, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.